been looking out to the city. Wanna run my day, that's extra. I've been looking out to the city. Wanna run my day, that's extra. Welcome back YouTube, man. I hope y'all doing good today. I specifically wanted to make this video for people who feel like they hit a limit in their bow career and it has really nothing to do with armor or it may have something to do with armor or whatever, man. And even if you're not established in armor, just take a look at my page. I guarantee you I can help you in that category as well. But you just feel like you can't go past a certain limit. You're trying to get a certain time, but you feel like you can't get it. Hopefully this video will help you and put things in perspective and it matter to where you can understand what's going on, what steps you need to take. Take it from me. I've been playing a bow ever since the game came out in seven years i've been playing a bow so i feel like you should just take my advice because i've been there done that and i think i can help you if you're new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe especially if you're a bow main and just want to learn all about bow that's all i do on my channel i do challenges i do guides um, i do play other games but mainly we just focus on bow gameplay and sometimes i just genuinely just want to help you with the game because i want newer players to come and play this game but I, I feel like it deserves a chance without further ado let's get right into the video all right so the first big question i always get is like out of the, all of the 14 weapons why did i pick bow specifically because all of the 14 weapons are good and i feel like i've seen people on youtube or just in the end game who are amazing with all of these weapons like i don't really know the answer why i picked the weapon like i didn't watch any gameplay i didn't know how the game worked when i started playing it and i sucked at every single monster i literally it literally took me 30 minutes to kill an agent at 30 minutes i used to suck really bad at this game but um honestly the weapon just grew on me to be honest the more i used it and the more i struggled with it the more i just wanted to get good with the weapon because i sucked at it so bad so sucking with the weapon really made me want to get better with the weapon if that makes sense um i can confidently say that i never gave up on a weapon and i never really put a weapon down um because it's my main obviously i did use other weapons but i never strayed away from the boat too long i always kept it in my main like top three weapons honestly when i started to play with the bow i found out that it was stylish like you had finesse to it and you really have to have balls and guts and heart to actually play this weapon because you get one shotted by literally everything and it's really hard to play this weapon when starting off playing it but ironically enough everybody i meet that does play the bow as well has like one of these qualities you know they either have heart they either just want to try something different they have a lot of rhythm to them or they they want to play with a weapon that requires a little bit of finesse to it, it looks a little stylish so, so either way we we do have something in common either way all we want to do is look cool while we display how nice we are <laughs> you know dancing around a monster today i feel like that's low key why every bow man wants to be a bow man but there's many different ways to play the bow you can be a team player who just wants to heal people or maybe you want to cheese with dragon piercer or you want to cheese with jump shot but anyway the main point is that everybody has a limit and this is how to get past your limits i wanted to give you that summary just so you can understand my background and how long i've been playing with it realistically that i started off just like anybody else i just didn't give up on a weapon when i give you these tips and tricks these really are coming from a place of experience and what i've seen from playing with people online and my friends so this is not just a bs trying to get it out the way video i honestly want you to pay attention to everything i say in this and try to see if you're doing these things because maybe this is holding you back all right so first thing we got before we talk about anything else and i give you any details decide what the limit is before you start to work towards it so if you just want to be a casual and you just want to get better you got to know what you want to get better at what's the plan before we even get started just decide what is the plan what are you trying to limit yourself to or what is the goal what are you trying to do that's the first thing that you need to be real with yourself and understand but some people are speed runners some people are just really good casuals some people are just you know okay casuals some people are just a regular player decide what category you are you want to be in and stay there and if you decide to change that's perfectly fine just decide what limits you want to have for yourself first of all so the next thing is but this kind of goes into the first one but it's still very important so you need to decide what style do you want to play like i said in the beginning some people want to be healers some people just want to do the most damage you can decide what you want to do right now most people want to just do the most damage and look cool as possible surprisingly enough there's a lot of both players who are just specifically healers both players only add like sleep effects you know poison the monster when they're supposed to and just do minimal damage and be uh, you know support you can be a support both main kind of goes to healing so just decide what, which one you want to play or just decide which player you want to be. So do you want to be the aggressor or do you want to be the supporter? Learn how to sit in the failure. It's, it sucks. It does suck. Um, We take 30% more damage than any other players. Like range players have it the worst as far as taking damage. So you need to really realize that we take way more damage than anybody else. So just get it through your head. It is what it is. Like you, you chose this life and it's not all bad. It's okay. But learn how to sit in the failure. If you die, sit in it. 
understand it. it it happened it's okay don't beat yourself up too much about it and don't but just don't put the weapon up you know that's the biggest mistake that people make and that's why they put it down it's not going to be easy it's, you'll be see a lot more bow players in the world not just a certain part of the region in the world in the whole world if it was easy like people don't want to play his weapon specifically because it isn't easy because you're limited on your defenses so don't feel too bad about dying and get one shot it's just what comes along with the game so just sit in there understand it just try to experiment with it instead of just getting mad and putting up the weapon because you probably most likely are not going to pick it back up for a while so the next thing is yo you need to get a rival get somebody who wants to play the bow or is like at your skill level and just make them your rival even if they don't know it continuously get better with them that really what pushes you when you have somebody constantly on your same skill level and you see them gradually getting better subconsciously in every human being if you got somebody that you see as a rival is going to push you you see this in anime you see this in real life you see this at work but i'm not gonna lie sometimes they really just be hating you at work and just be envy don't do envy just have a genuine respect for the other person and try to get better than them you know just a, a friendly rivalry but just get a rival i think that helps you very much but it's kind of hard so I, I you know i do understand if you can't but if you can get somebody that y'all you know, can just have a friendly competition this will just get you better with the way i promise you it will all right next thing is if you are new this is really for you man solo bro when i played this game nobody helped me i wanted to play by myself i wanted every quest to to be 30 minutes minutes i mean i really didn't i actually really didn't but if it had to take 30 minutes because of me and that's what i was causing because i was that bad i wanted to i wanted to just get i'm like all right like that's that's just what it is i'll just sit here for 30 minutes every time and i'll just suffer until i get better that's the type of person i am and that's how i learn so i didn't get carried throughout this whole entire story iceborne or the regular I beat every monster by myself. I think the only monster I really needed help with was Electreon before they actually nerfed him, which was crazy. But I, I would have eventually beat him, but that's like the only monster I got help with. But throughout the whole story, I did everybody by myself. And doing this really established my skill level with the bow because I wasn't getting this carried as much. So the fact that I had to beat every monster by myself, no matter what, no matter how long it took, uh, allowed me just to develop like a deeper skill level than somebody was to get carried. I mean, if you do get carried, it's okay. You can still grind but it's really not the same you need time to develop experience you need to develop the experience the experience is very important in this game you don't want to get to the end game and feel like you know there's nothing really enough to do because you got carried so much and now you know you kind of lost so kind of just go through the journey by yourself um and and just try to solo as many monsters as you can unless you absolutely need help all right this next one is very important so stop happy dashing where you just see a bold user just keep dashing and you dash and you just won't stop because it looks cool and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and act like it don't look cool but you will get fucked up you i promise you you need to use your dash very strategically you need to really think about it because when you're dashing you have a moment of weakness so it can be a weakness and it can be a strength use it when it's a strength you got to use it very strategically and i can't sit here and, and tell you how to use your dash on every single monster because every single monster is different but realize monsters understand what you're doing and they catch on the patterns just like you do the ai is very advanced in this game that's why this game is so good because it, even good players can get on this game and still get messed up if you know if, it, even if they having a slightly off day that's why this game is amazing but when you're dashing just willy-nilly you're you're open more you're not you're not safer because you're dashing and you're wasting stamina as much so only use your dash if you really understand what you're doing like just don't be dashing just to dash it's cool to to move around and strategically move but what are you going to do if you dash and you know there's a period there's a period in time where when you're in the dash you you're going to get hit by certain things so you got to understand that there's a certain window where you can't move and can't do uh, things for like a certain second and sometimes that's all monsters need to kill you specifically fatalis and velcana that's the most times i see people dying to it so dash very strategically use it as a strength don't turn it into a weakness please so the next thing i wanted to say this is a turn-based game understand that it, when it's your turn and you don't take advantage of it aka like the monster doesn't move and you don't know how to punish it 
you just lost out on maybe a thousand, two thousand damage, three thousand damage. And as the game progressively goes on and on, the time gets longer and longer and longer. I mean, the monster is just doing some some easy stuff to punish, but you don't know how to punish, or you do know how to punish, but you're too scared to try it. That's where solo comes in. That's why I told you to solo like every monster by yourself, try to beat them by yourself. You know, you're just gonna miss out. Quest gonna either take a very long time, or you know, that's that's when the struggle really begins when you don't understand how to punish and this just goes down the list even to the hardest punishment moves or the hardest moves to punish by the monsters if you learn how to punish those moves even if you don't have the best set and the best armor you'll be better than 90 percent of the people who play this game 90 percent because everybody is scared of one move i don't care and if you're scared of one move guess what monster becomes a boss fight even if you don't got it down on how to like correctly punish it even if you just understand how to punish it this just makes you this is going to set you apart from 99 percent of the players who play this game some people don't even know how to punish the easiest stuff bro like you they really don't so once you understand that this will make you a different player but it's not one thing just understanding it you have to put it into action just like real life so if you understand the punishments and you understand when to punish the monster that that's everything that's literally the whole game bro you got to understand when to punish man if you get to a certain point where you know the monster's moving and you start to punish, you'll notice that you'll start killing the monster faster. And this, and this is this is happens progressively. As you get better at the game, you get more comfortable, you learn the moves, you know what I'm saying? You get better armor, everything ties into each other. But punishment, I would say 60% of the fight itself. So please understand that and try to get that down as quickly as possible. All right, next thing, one thing isn't going to work for every monster, right? Every monster is different. Every monster has a different handbook. They have different moves. They have different things that you can do on them you may not be able to do on one monster i love fighting fatality because he has a lot of openings but you know the thing is people are so scared shitless, they wouldn't even dare try to take the openings because everybody is they're scared and i understand why they're scared if you don't fight fatalis a lot when i was starting the game i was scared a lot but once i understood and really understood when to punish and how to get past certain moves that's when i was like okay i could do this but every monster is different so if you're trying to get a better time or him or him you need to solely focus on that monster that you are trying to do um it's okay if you just like you can play the game however you want to but if you're serious about getting a better time just take a little bit of extra time and learn the monster like solo one just it's okay and sometimes like you should die to understand the punishments and to experiment when you can punish if you don't look at my guys or you don't know the punishments or if you don't know just look at my guys i have very simple guys on how to punish these monsters but understand every monster is different and you have to approach it with a different plan so just take that into account every monster is not the same next thing is that you need to um if you can if you have any software where you can record your gameplay you need to record your gameplay and look back at it and i would even compare it to somebody that's better than you so go to a random speed runner you don't know and look what they're doing look what the look what the punishments they're doing on the monsters and compare it to what you're doing if you're trying to get a shorter time because a lot of people tell me they're stuck on like 15 minutes 13 minutes you know even 12 minutes on particular monsters it's a reason behind that all you got to do sometimes you just need to look at your own footage and really see what you're doing so you can compare it to other people and comparing it will just tell you what you're not doing i've looked at people footage for hours literally and really dissected what they're doing and told myself that i could do literally the same thing because you can do the same thing it's literally you can the only thing stopping you really is your brain or you not thinking that you can do that all right the next thing kind of ties into the last reason but really honestly you have to believe that you can get better and this sounds stupid but this is actually a real thing you have to really believe that you can do better so you keep saying that i'm not going to get better you're not going to get better you're going to stay the same but if you really believe truly like you really truly believe like i i, I can't do this which you can i'm telling you can. i don't even know you i don't even know who's watching this video i promise you you can it, it, it's really up to you it is up to you so if you want to get past that barrier believe me you can do it i promise you sometimes you really can't see your experience and you can't see your progress but subconsciously and your muscle memory your fingers remember every time you start to play the game every time you play that game your fingers remember your subconscious remembers it was really good to have good habits when you play or you wouldn't understand how many people actually really don't think they can do it they just want to do it all right next thing you should literally know every combo like the back of your head you should know how to do every combo when to do every combo like the combo should just be really stuck in your head it's not really that much variance of combos you can do anyway 
so you should know every combo you can do and you should just get comfortable with just doing them on the monsters if you're not really comfortable i would practice doing combos over and over again just learn the combos you know dash spread shot regular spread shot dash shot uh, just combo and practice so you can know what is uh best in each situation so you can have more options when you know you're doing your experimental uh, phase on the monsters so you need to stay in your rhythm and let me get this straight your rhythm is like the tempo which you fight at so my tempo depends on which monster i'm fighting you know it changes depending on you know what do i have to adapt to especially it really changes when i'm playing with people but if you're playing solo it can kind of be the same thing that's why playing solo is really good multiplayer you might have to adapt your tempo and your rhythm it's very hard but solo is easy to adapt a certain tempo and a certain rhythm your rhythm is based upon you that's it it's not one thing answers all it's not my rhythm is different than your rhythm it's very important with the bow you know you can just keep at it you can just keep doing damage comfortably with whatever skills you know and whatever experience you have and that's why i say everybody's rhythm is different but learn to just stay on rhythm even when the monster like messes up your rhythm just get right back on it because they literally are trying to mess you up so they're going to try to mess you up but just just constantly just stay on it and this the rhythm goes with your dash shot how often are you punishing how good are you punishing now you really can get better so the goal is really to just have you know 100 percent rhythm the whole time without really messing up and if it does get messed up just get right back into it all right so the next thing is you need to really pay attention to your shots and try not to miss as much i know that sounds kind of self-explanatory but like literally really every shot counts you may not be doing that much damage because even if you're doing 10 20 i don't care it counts and the lower you are it really counts like you may not think you're doing as much because you can't see big numbers like great sword but it's really all a mind thing like try to aim and make your shots do try not to miss because when you miss basically you know you just lose not on a lot of damage that you really you know every time you miss and you just keep missing it adds up just like if you make your shot so just keep that in mind all right the next thing is very important don't get too aggressive and I, I mean you can play aggressive i play aggressive but don't get too aggressive i'm talking about not really the game i'm talking about you pushing the buttons you ever get mad and you just start pushing the buttons harder because you're mad like that may work on fighting games and taking that hey that that is do not fly with the bow and monster on the world and certain certain other weapons they don't fly either hey man stay calm it's okay you're just gonna make things worse by getting mad man so just stay calm uh you don't reposition yourself understand that you still learn it and, and just just stay just stay cool i know it's hard because this game be on some bs sometimes but getting mad and pushing the buttons harder is really just gonna make you get mad and break your controller or keyboard bro just don't do it just don't do it at all unless you specifically are speed running do not make unrealistic risky mistake moves that you know you can't recover from just because you're trying to do more damage like that is a mistake that i do casual matches just because i'm so used to speed running but literally everybody does this like don't get frustrated or worked up or try to like be in so much competition if you get if you got the skill to back it up go ahead but if you know you shouldn't be you the only person that know they shouldn't be doing something is you and you eternally know when you shouldn't be doing something so if you know i don't have the facilities to really back up what i'm trying to what i'm trying to do don't do it <laughs> like you know especially if you're on a team if you're on solo all right but if you're on the team trying to do this that's actually crazy i'm not gonna lie yeah just 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 chill out you don't have to do the most damage on the team every time so the next thing i wanted to say just try different stuff out try heroics try safi out try Firecraft. try every meta in the game and see if you really excel in that certain type of play style because you never know i didn't know i was good at frostcraft or heroics and i really excel in heroics because i'm the type of person that likes high risk high reward type of play styles i didn't even know that until i started playing this game i really didn't so i actually like playing heroics because it fits my play style in a boat you get one shot at anyway so i tell everybody really just to try anything once just try it bro just try around experiment with everything don't just stick to one thing and like okay experiment it because you might be the best in it and you really don't know I met a lot of people that haven't played heroics they start playing heroics amazing you know same with frost crab you know really just 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 see what you're comfortable with you might you may never know what works stamina management is your bread and butter do not run out of stamina and get punished because you ran out of stamina always be fully aware of how much stamina you have and how much stamina certain moves takes um, if you don't take anything away from this video, just take this quick shot is your best friend. Don't take no stamina really good to start combos. And it's just generally just a good idea to start anything with the bow. The quick shot is when you basically just press circle, PlayStation or B, uh, Xbox, just start off a combo. 
and you just throw out three uh three uncharged arrows and they're actually the next arrow you do will be charged so it's a good starter for combos really good but yeah man just um just take that into account just like dual blade stamina is very important for the bow so make sure that you eat in black belt uh, you got dash juice um you already talked about this in previous videos just make sure you got everything equipped be very conscious of about your stamina so while i was grinding fatalis i found out something that i think is pretty useful i kind of subconsciously already knew it but i didn't really consciously understand it until i was like fighting fatalis over and over and over again so when you're in a bad position i'm talking about aim wise with the bow have you ever been in a situation where like your fingers are in an uncomfortable position and you're trying to hurry up and get the right angle off to get the, the spread shot or something off you know most of the time you can just let go of l2 or whatever aim button you have and just readjust the aim really quick and it will just be way better you know instead of just holding down l2 or whatever your aim button is this will be way better for your aim and you'll probably actually hit that tough shot that you're trying to hit you know i've really noticed that please listen to me please try this out let go of l2 sometimes and readjust your aim really quick and see if that helps i'm not really sure if that's going to help anybody else but that made a huge difference in some tough spots Spots, usually when i was trying to aim for you know certain monster spots so i think this can help somebody else try it out trust me tr please trust me if it doesn't work okay at least you try it but this is honest honestly sometimes it's a good idea but sometimes it's bad sometimes you need to let go readjust the aim so you can aim better so just try that out see how that works for you well, all right so if you're uncomfortable with a move or something you need to keep making the monster do that move or keep fighting the monster until you get um that move that you're uncomfortable with and I, i'm gonna just do an example so third phase fatalis if you know that you're scared in third phase fatalis you shouldn't be trying to do any other monster but third phase fatalis literally and just try to get down the moves watch videos anything so so you can get it down that way so when you do want to do fatalis you can just have it down all right so another thing i don't know if you know what flow state is but try to find out what triggers flow state for you for me what triggers flow state for me is like listening to uh, music i like listening to music but it might be different for you everybody's different but flow state is literally where you're just so immersed into the game and you're just so locked in that you you're really not making any mistakes because all of your brain power you're really just focusing so much on the game that you're not messing up because you're so locked in that's basically what flow state is and you can use this in anything in life you can really be in flow state at work you know at work usually i was in flow state but like you can do this on the game very easily and it's very common with the bow because you know you have to have a certain rhythm to do it so it's, 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 it just goes hand in hand together so just try to find out what triggers flow state for you but if you're not really like that good with the bow and you don't have no experience you probably can't get into it it's only when you really naturally you know already have fundamentally like a little bit of experiment with the bow but try to see what triggers flow state for you i would just experiment with that all right so another thing too you need to have confidence to play this weapon even if you're getting destroyed every match you still need to have some sort of confidence in your gameplay and your skill level you can't just say oh man i suck you can't do that you need to have confidence and you know any fear that you have you need to alleviate that with experience so to get more experience what you got to do you got to play the game so practice you got to practice more so have confidence and but confidence only comes when you put the work in and have experience under your belt so just keep that in mind i don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna just try to wrap this up but the next one is just be real with yourself be real with the criticism that you either get from you know your friends if somebody is telling you something just take it into account you don't have to take it personally i know some players that i've seen i tried to help them but you know they just make an excuse like yeah I try. i'm like okay but like, you know like the only person that's hurting is you you know i i sometimes i don't even i don't even say things no more unless people really ask me to like critique their play style because certain people don't care they just want to make excuses and they kind of they just don't they don't care they don't they don't want to get better and that's fine but if you genuinely really want to get better and you're lying to yourself you're not going to get better so just try to be real with yourself and the only person who knows if you're being real with yourself is you guessed it yourself i don't know so you know be truthful with yourself if you're trying to get better just be realistic if you can't do something just own up to it because it's not like you can't fix it when you look at somebody else's gameplay or just are you trying to compare it like you do record yourself and you're trying to compare your gameplay to other people yo attention to detail is very important in this game a lot of small things i picked up from certain people that made, like made significantly um you know big differences in my gameplay whether it be speed running or just casually playing so just really when you look at somebody's gameplay look at everything they're doing 
Don't skip over things and just look at the bait. Look at every small detail and ask yourself, why did he just do that? Sometimes people do things, you know, just because they made a mistake, but sometimes it's like they purposely did something and you need to find out why they did that because it may make a huge difference. Either you can ask them or just study up on it, but attention to detail really is important in this game. And a lot of people don't tell you that, but it really is. Like a lot of these monsters on the world, like the smallest things can like make a huge um, impact in your game. So really just pay attention to detail. Attention to every detail pretty much, but yeah. And next thing is, do you actually want a main bow? Like, I mean, do you, I mean, you don't have to, like you really don't. Like, I'm, and, and this is not a joke. I'm not saying this to be funny. You know, most people think it looks cool and it's, that's it. It's, it's okay. I think hunting horn looks cool, but I will probably never main hunting horn. Is you, you know, do you really want to main it or do you just think it looks cool? Like make that difference on what you want to do. Cause it's fine if you don't like, it just may not be your weapon and that's okay. That's fine. And nothing wrong with it. You don't, you like you literally don't have to play. Like it, it, even if you did try to learn it and it didn't work out, at least you tried. That's fire, man. That's amazing. The last thing I wanted to say is like learn when to turn it on and to turn it off. You don't know what I mean. I mean, like, you know, you just, you know, you just turn it up. Like you're being very aggressive. You just like, ah, you know, you're trying to get as much damage as you can. Learn how to learn how to turn that off. Sometimes you don't have to do that every single time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to know when to hold them and when to fold them. You know, sometimes this is really not the, the best time to attack. You need to understand those moments when you're fighting certain monsters because you know the monster is going to take advantage sometimes the monster is just on bs and sometimes you just gotta wait until to chill out and if you don't want to die but if you, you don't care about dying go ahead and just you know fold them every time but if you are very conscious playing with a team learn how to hold them and when to fold them next thing i want to say is just give it time man like you know this is not going to be overnight i just wanted to make this video for certain people who just hit a barrier because i know a lot of people have hit it and they you know they're just wondering like is there anything else it's really not it's really just practice it comes down to practice and how bad do you want to get better with the weapon now, if you don't want it that bad it's not going to happen if you want it bad it's, it's definitely going to happen you know you just have to want it so you know just take your time don't be too hard on yourself experiment the game i love this game I love casuals, I love tryhards, I love everybody. I just love, I just have love for the game, period. That's all I have. Hopefully this video helped you. But yeah, man, let, let's get into the conclusion. And man, I appreciate y'all looking at the video so much. I really do, man. Y'all really helped me a lot and making this video and giving me ideas on my Discord. So I, I thank y'all so much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I, I make content like this all the time. And I actually do personal requests. If you, you know, message me on my Discord, or just give me a donation, but like, hey, make a video with this. I'll make a video pronto as quick as I can because that's just what I do. But I really do appreciate all the support. And hopefully we see some more bow runners and some more bow users this year um, before Wilds come out. And when Wilds come out, hopefully I'll start using the bow in there too because I'm going to be covering that weapon as soon as that game comes out. Can't wait. But I'm going to just wrap it up, man. You know, I'm kind of tired. I really appreciate y'all again, man. Thank you for 1,500 subscribers. I just seen that. And yeah, man, I'm out. Hope y'all have an amazing night or day wherever you wait. Stay up and peace, man. I'm out.